YouTube, welcome back to another Madden 22 video. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down part number three of my Raiders Tour mini scheme. And honestly, this mini scheme is catching fire in the Mutt community right now. Um, you know, in weekend league games, I'm playing it. Online head-to-head, -head, I'm playing it. Reg, CFM, money games, Mutt tournaments. This ebook or mini scheme, I should say, is super fire. Just want to thank you guys for tuning in to episode three. If you haven't already, go check out episode two and episode one. Episode two was bunch. Episode one was abilities and uh, you know audibles, all that type of stuff. So if you want to know abilities, go to episode one. If you want to know some bunch dots, go to episode two. But here in episode three, I'm going to be going over bunch tight end and tray. And then after that, it looks like episode four will be some tight slots, halfback week. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys like the best audibles, the best way to, you know, motion over as in, you know, go from bunch to bunch tight end to tray and show you why it's called a tour. So, you know, I don't really tap in with the inside switch or, you know, the X spot. Um, if you guys want, you can run those plays. I'll run them real quick, but I can show you guys a couple of setups that you could add to your scheme. One setup that I like is, you know, simple pattern like this. And then you know you can motion this guy out this is actually a really good red zone play now that i think about it and right there just it's kind of a tight window it's kind of why i don't really run it this post isn't really that good but you know you can make something happen out of it another route combo you could do is something like this and just a nice high low you have the table route on the right you have the slant coming across the middle and i, I was chucking the post but you have that post as well and then actually probably the best route combo for this play something like this i know a lot of people in regs ran this last year you roll out to the right and throw that post kind of like a you know backside post so that's what i like for inside switch i know this corner route is actually really good as well i do have gronk on it so he's not getting open at all but you know if you have route tech tight end that's going to be cooking all day long okay besides that you know x spot is cool the tight end post similar to you know a normal tight end post but i don't really run it let me just set up my audibles real quick once more show you what that's talking about um if like i said if you haven't checked out video number one go check it out that's where i put all my audibles and all that type of stuff but this is what my audibles would look like i would probably put um half back off tackle because this is probably the best run in the game out of gun and you know you could say this down a third inside zone is better but no i really like this off tackle um and I will actually go two audibles, one, you know, one for off tackle, one for inside zone, two runs, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, that's how much I like this run, especially for clocking. That's the whole reason why I run Raiders. If I get a lead and I get a stop, I want to clock you out. Those are great runs to run. But with all that being said, here are a couple of setups that I love for bunch tight end and tray. So let's get into it finally. The first one we all know and love is just a simple tight end post. You're just gonna call bunch tight end, PA uh, boot over with a tight end post. And this post just, it just seems to be open every rip versus man coverage versus cover two versus cover three. Um, only really way you could stop it, I think, is if you actually use it. And you know, with that, you could also throw these crossing routes. Um, if you have a skate artist, this plays money. And it works on both sides of the field. I actually prefer to, um, you know, run it this way for the tight end post. So if you're strictly trying to throw the tight end post, this is a better way to run it. Um, you could keep all your, you know, posts and crossing routes on the field if you'd like, but you'll notice this is just way more open when you run it to this side of the field. It's less space for the tight end to run. And you know, it's just way more open. So, you know, once more, if you just want to throw the tight end post, I recommend short side only. See right here, I'm getting a good amount of yards on, on that post. Um, so this is short side bunch tight end. Um, but, you know, if you do want to incorporate other type of routes, even the run and some other type of dots in bunch tight end, you would run it this way. And there's a few setups. So obviously we have the tight end post that we already went over. Next thing uh, we're going to do is we're just simply... We're simply going to put it a tight end in route. And this is really good versus like 335 wide man coverage. Um, I did drop it, but like I said, man, you're not going to have to worry about OJ Howard or Robert Gronkowski running your routes poorly when you have, um, you know, Vernon Davis and Mutt or Kyle Pitts or whoever your tight end may be at the moment. 
but this is such a great quick hike that you know it, it's gonna throw them off guard and then obviously if they run man you have your beaters over the middle over the top of the field i mean this this bunch tight end it's just so hard to run man coverage against and a lot of people love running man coverage against it uh, just in general right now right so um you know that's just another really nice route combo you could run i'm gonna move the ball a little back to give me some more space another great route combo that i like to run and this is like for one play tuds right i like to do something like this and this this does take a good amount of time and you could get screamed at sometimes but this is a really nice one play tutty and you know i always look for the corner out early especially with my route sex tight end vernon davis it does beat zone a lot and it gets under those cover three type shells you can motion this guy evans out if you want um it just gives you some more spacing you can kind of just throw it underneath because if you notice bunch tight end when people play against my bunch tight end or just in general even me i immediately am running back uh just because of all the prior years of playing bunch tight end i know how the crossers work i know all that all those type of plays work um right there i really couldn't get the passy that i wanted to i think brady has set feet lead but this is a great one play tutty as well if you have time we all know how that uh x or that, that bunch tight end post works right there same thing i'm just chucking something but if you have time you're gonna have this one play tutty all the time and you know i'm gonna try to roll out to the right and show you guys what it's looking like but it's just not gonna work with brady right he's not gonna be able to get these throws on the run but trust me guys this setup right here you don't even have to put the tight end across a corner right you could put the post it doesn't even matter you could block your running back or you block your tight end you can put your running back on the field do something like this i know civil loves doing this a lot there's so many route combos you could do out of bunch tight end and you know i just like to incorporate the tight end a lot because you know i have route tech on him i want to use him right so pretty much this is what the post the one play beater is looking like yeah uh, we all know the bunch tight end one play tutty by now and that's that for pa um boot over there's so many things you could do it is a really good play it was probably better last year i'd say but there's so many things you could do this year with horror master which makes it kind of crack so that's that next i'm going to go over the curl flat corner and if you use abilities on your receiver you would want one on triangle or y on this on this play they're going to be running man and it's really just going to come down to the fact that if you know your guy could beat it or not this is a great zone beater it gets under the cover threes it gets over the cover twos um what i like to do for this corner route is smart route it so i always smart route this corner route I'll put like an angle route just in case, you know, something like, as you notice right now, there's really nothing in the middle. I'll put an angle route for the middle and I'll just call hike. And my reads are always gonna be left side first. And then I go look back to the angle route. Um, it's just a really good, you know, switch of pace when you go from looking right or, you know, calling boot over, over, over and over again. Um, you go to the left side of the field and you tack the left side. So they can, they're continuously calling man coverage, but you know, stuff like that will happen in man coverage because there's three guys on the side. So one thing I've noticed about bunch tight end is, you know, your three receivers on the side, if they run man coverage, there's going to be a lot of bumping going on. So be, be along the lookout for those corner routes. Um, and just, you know, any type of busted coverage when playing against, you know, man coverage and bunch tight end. And once more, I really haven't got the success I wanted to on this play, but right here, we're gonna get it. Just under catch it, hold Y, and you'll be good. Scotty Miller's really not that big of a body. Uh, someone like Moss, Calvin Johnson would be perfect on that play right there. Once more, we're gonna try to call hike, and we're gonna hit this corner out, and it's open. But Brady is just, he can't get the ball out. But I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now. So right here, we're just gonna call hike. First things first, I kinda always look for the out route. Out route kinda looks covered. I know I could have the streak. I don't have gunslinger, so I'm not gonna try to force it. And this corner out, this this um, safety or corner, I should say, is always gonna turn his back. And it may look kind of covered, right? This doesn't look necessarily open, but you could always pass it to the outside and get that nice, secure uh, possession catch. And then next things next, I'm just gonna show you guys some of these runs. Um, this off tackle, like I said, it's as advertised. It's actually insane. I was playing against it all, so many times in weekendly this past weekend, and I just couldn't stop it. And if someone does show you, like, oh, I got the shoot for off tackle, odds are they won't be able to stop inside zone. A bunch tight end inside zone has been that type of run for many years. And, you know, if you love running the ball, this is a scheme for you. Um, Raiders Tour, you know, you have just, amount, just enough amount of passes to pass the ball. 
but when you need to run the ball and you're not feeling feeling comfortable passing you could simply just tote that thing so that's that for this uh, bunch tight end I know it's kind of short I'm gonna get it into Trey but honestly this is how much how often I call bunch tight end um, I call it for clocking and I call it for boot over and I call it for pro flat corner and that's it like I'll probably go to it 20 maybe 15 percent of the game and it is super nasty, but really it just it's just the audible that really makes it tough to defend. Lastly, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, tray and you know what you could do out of tray. So this if this is uh, what you guys have been waiting for, this is kind of like the audible and the tour. You will notice how just everything is out of sync. Um, this is just a tight end post variation out of you know trips instead of a bunch tight end. This is a spam and buttons route combo. I kind of stole it from him. I really don't call Trey because, um, you know, I feel like there are other better things to call, but, you know, um, Trey is just nasty. Like, you can run it both sides. The, I would say I wish that Trey had better runs, but, you know, here's another good little route combo. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But as you notice right now, I'm audibling, audibling, audibling. If you run Raiders tour, Bengals tour, Patriots tour, that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna wanna do is just continuously call an audible and audible and audible. And it gets so annoying sometimes that you know you're just winning in that mental aspect, you know, you're beating your opponent in that mental game right here, crossing route out of PA counter go. And that's pretty much it, you know. I I, I mix in like two to three plays out of tray. Um, sometimes I catch them a curl flat corner if they're running a lot of man right here you notice like look how the cornerbacks are motioning out and left and like bro they're just blown coverages left and right um, and this it does happen in the real game i know i'm playing the computer right now but it does happen in the real game and then this is kind of what it'll look like if i'm audibly in the bunch tight end something like this um you know i'll just this pretty much is freestyle it's all a freestyle and it works so so well just because how the game plays this year so um and then with that, I have my runs that I love to run. And that's pretty much it for this part three. It's a bunch of freestyling. Uh, hopefully you guys got the setups down. I really am a muscle, or I'm a visual guy. Kind of forced that read. Bad read, don't throw that. Um, so seeing a lot of these route combos, I would be like, all right, I'm just adding this to the scheme, adding that to the scheme. And in the next video, I will give you guys the tight. And what I'll probably do in the next video is show you a full tour. And what I mean by that is um, I'll audible. I'll play a real game and I'll just continuously audible left, right, left, right. And you guys could kind of get the gist of it and how you should play. It's nothing too simple. It's literally calling the best money plays in one of the best playbooks and going to work. And, you know, just using your, using your abilities and using your receivers to your advantage. So that's that guys part three of the raiders mini scheme hopefully you guys enjoyed it um you know like i said it's a lot of freestyling and hopefully next year i get back on the systematic waves um depending on how madden 23 is like if it's a defensive game you are not gonna be able to freestyle really that well and you're gonna have to really stick to your system so i can't wait for that i can't wait for the mini schemes of the future the ebooks of the future hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did leave a like button and i'll catch you guys in the next video Get quick or you'll get...